All right, guys, so here's a great question on break even. So let's read the question together. Uh, a technology product from GoPro action cameras has been estimated to cost the company approximately $68 in materials costs per unit, $2 in sales commission per unit, and $7 for administrative fees per unit. The original fixed cost for the quarter was estimated at $1.5 million. The sale price for the GoPro camera is set to be at $249, and capacity for the quarter is estimated at 5,000 units. So, um, and it's asking a couple of things. The first one is find an algebraic expression for the total revenue and total cost. So if you're unfamiliar with break-even analysis, break-even is just the point where revenue equals expenses. And so there's really no um, profit in, in a break-even question. So really revenue equals expenses, right? That's, that's basically what break-even means. And that's a useful tool for a lot of businesses just to figure out you know, how many units they need to produce in order to cover expenses. Obviously, the more units you need to produce to cover expenses, um, the harder it is, right? And the, you know, the more units you'll need to sell, which can be its own challenge. Um, so if we want to figure out an algebraic expression for the total revenue and total cost, really, we want to figure out an algebraic expression for revenue and expenses. So for part one, we're just trying to find an expression, an algebraic expression for revenue. And that equals, what we're gonna call that is TR for total revenue. And all that's going to be is the price per unit, which it says here, the sale price for the GoPro camera is set to be 249, 249 times the number of units that you sell. So we can call that N for number of units, or you could call it X, um, it's up to you. Whatever letter or variable you use here, we're going to use that same variable in the expenses um, formula. So we have an algebraic expression for revenue. I can simplify that a little bit, TR equals 249N. Right, so that's a simplified algebraic expression for revenue. If we look at expenses, expenses are going to be made up of two things. The fixed costs, which in this case does not depend on the, the number of units that we sell. The original fixed cost for the quarter was estimated at $1.5 million. Okay, so that's things like rent and salaries and, you know, delivery vehicles and stuff like that, that, that do not depend on the number of units that we sell. So part of those expenses are those fixed costs. Then there are costs that come with every unit that we sell and we call those variable costs or VC. VC is like um, um, materials costs per unit. And in this question, we had a few variable costs, $68 in material cost per unit, $2 in sales commission per unit, $7 in administrative fees per unit. So if we think about our fixed costs, we have $1.5 million. And our variable costs are 68 plus two plus seven. And we're gonna multiply all of those times the number of units that we sell. I'm gonna clean that up a little bit and just call it 1.5 million plus N times 77, or 77 N either way. 68 plus two plus seven gives us 77. Okay, so now we have a total expenses uh, uh, formula, right? An algebraic expression, so that means it includes letters. An algebraic expression for total costs, which includes fixed and variable costs. And we have an algebraic expression for revenue, 249N. So, so 
we figured out part one. We found an algebraic expression for both revenue and cost. In part two, it says, we'll find the break even in units. Well, yeah, that's the next logical step. And to do that, we're just remembering, we're going back to this original thing here of revenue equals expenses. So in part two, we know that revenue is 249N, and we want that to equal the uh, uh, total expenses of 1.5 million plus 77N. Okay, so there's our formula for revenue and our formula for expenses. Now we just need to collect like terms and do some algebra to figure this out. I'm gonna move this term with the N. I'm gonna move it over the equal sign to join this other uh, uh, term with the N. When it comes over the equal sign, remember it turns to a negative. So 249N minus 77N equals 1.5 million. We can do some subtraction there, calculator. So I'm gonna go 249 minus 77. I get 172. So 172N equals $1.5 million. And now, finally, we'll divide both sides by the number in front of n. So we'll divide both sides by 172. Let's do that. 1.5 million, oops. Divided by 172. And that equals uh, 8,000, what's that say there? 8,720 point nine. Okay, so this is saying that our break-even point, I'll just call it BEP, break-even point, is 8,720.93 uh, units. And I don't know about you guys, but I find it very difficult to sell 0.93 of a unit. Right, So probably, if we were in business, we'd want to round that up. We'd want to say, really, we need 8,721 units. And when we sell those units, we know we will have paid for all the variable costs associated with those units and paid for all of those fixed costs of the $1.5 million. At this number of units, so 8,721 units, that's when we break even. So that's when we have kind of worked up to a point where we earn no profit. We also don't have any debts. Now, let's put that into perspective though. Like this question is saying that we can only make 5,000 units per quarter, okay? So if we can only make 5,000 units and we need, whoop, 8,700 units to break even, then that means that we will not break even in one quarter. We'll need like more time. We'll need at least two quarters uh, to break even. Um, and you know, who, who knows what other expenses we'll incur in that time. Um, so I'm not saying that this business proposition is impossible or anything like that, but it's a very useful tool to let us know exactly how long we need to work and how many units we need to sell just in order to, to cover our expenses. Um, the last couple of things there are kind of easier. Um, it says compute, for part number three, compute the break-even point in dollars. Well, that's easy. We know we need 8,721 units to break even, and we know that each unit is going to be sold for $249. So if we just multiply those, we're going to get the break-even sales dollars. 8,721 times 249 gives us $2 million, 171. Five, two, nine dollars, so a scribbly line there, but 
um, uh, $2,171,529 in order to break even. And for part number four, as a percent of capacity. So as a percent of capacity, well, we're going to put the number of units, 8,721, divided by 5,000. Divide those and then multiply by 100. And let's see what we get. Thousand seven hundred and twenty-one divided by five thousand, so it's more than a hundred percent times a hundred gives us one hundred and seventy-four percent of capacity. And would the production be worth doing? Well, it's up to you. I mean, from a business standpoint, it's going to take a long time to to cover expenses, right? Um, well, I don't know what a long time is. A quarter is, you know, three months. So, you know, it's going to take two quarters or at least six months to become profitable. Um, that's not crazy. Um, so if we're a small business, it, we have to be prepared to cover costs for or, or no profit for, you know, at least two quarters. Um, but there may be some other sort of business strategies in, in um, doing this production. Like maybe doing this will help us gain market share or get rid of some competition or maybe help us get some money that we can become profitable by the end of the year and maybe that's good. Um, but generally, like probably the question, you know, probably the answer to this would be no, it's not worth doing. It takes too long to uh, become profitable. But that's that's a, um, a question that would be very specific to your own business and your business needs. But anyway, that's how we do uh, break even. Yeah. Good luck, everybody. Cheers.